right so we are going to create a navigation bar here you can see we have logo of our website then after inside navigation bar you have five navigation element home product blog about and contact so this is a responsive one that means when i minimize this one on that time when i change the screen size on that time it will hide the navigation element and it will show this expand button when you click here it will show this navigation link and when you click here it will hide this link right so i'm not going to add any body section or photo section i'm just going to create a navigation bar so for this we are using html css and javascript first i'm going to create three file for the this tree language right html style.css for the css styling script.js for the javascript so for the html i'm going to add boilerplate code by using asterisk and tab key in the vs code you can get this boilerplate code or else you have to type all this code so this file will be a nav bar so i'm going to add five navigation element before that i'm going to create a nav html element and up inside this nav section i'm going to add one division with the class name nav main then now another division with the class name we'll use nav header for this one like in bootstrap we are given the class name then i'm going to add logo image image will be src dot slash i'm going to insert my image right so i have copied one image to here logo image so we'll add this image here dot slash sd dot png i'm going to give class name as uh, logo for this one what native text will be logo image right so then after i'm going to add uh, element one span element with the class name bars and we'll give equal sign here so you can add icon by using external libraries i am not going to add any external libraries so we'll add equal sign for this expand icon so after that we'll create one list another list with the class name menu so we'll add list item anchor tag for the home then after I'm going to add product so after product there will be log section and we'll add about section and contact section right so list item and tag it's rep this will be a contact section all right so we have added our section five link element home product blog about and contact now i'm going to connect my script file with link script file script src will be dot slash script dot js right okay so we need to connect our style sheet also now it is empty you can see we have style dot css i'm going to connect it here link css style dot css okay we'll open this in the live server there is no styling yet so we can see the basic structure which we added using HTML, right okay i'm going to close this one and we will add style first so i'm going to add first body section style so for the body section margin will be zero heading also will be zero font family insert this into sensory background will give white color and 
I will give font size into 140 lemon size for the body section. I will refresh this one. So then after we have logo image, right? I am going to give a width as a 50 px. Let's see the size. Okay. I'm going to make this as a circle so border radius will be 50% and cursor will be pointer I can see cursor is pointer and border is radius like a circle right so then after you can see we have unordered list with bullet point and this underline element for the unordered list this style type will be none and for the anchor tag text decoration will be none ok now I need to align this content in horizontally for that we have nav, con nav element background color will be white for this section also and box shadow I am going to add 0, 5px, 15px, RGBA black color 0. Point will give 0 0.2 yeah this sum are okay then after we have bars that mean equal sign for that one font size I am going to give as a 2 uh, total element size and color will be dark green color and curse will be pointer right that mean this button so after that when we hover this bus on that time we can give a color into the just green color right not the not dark green color so then after we have menu element right you can see now we have this hover effect so we change this into something else like uh, black color okay then now we have now main and also menu element okay for the menu element I'm going to give the style height as 0 by default then not overflow content will be hidden and we will add right so before that I am going to give color for this one so inside menu element we have anchor deck right ok so for the anchor deck first we will give color as a grey color and I am going to make this play as a block level element anchor deck will be block level in a month let us place in 2px and padding will be 0 0.5 root element size and 1 root element size left and right alright so let's see ok we have given this color and other content then after when you hover over this menu anchor tag on that time background color will be aqua font color will be green right and padding from the left we are going to add 1.5 1.4 root element size padding from the left side when you hover over you can see there is a small padding and these effects are taking immediately I am going to add some transition so can add transition for the anchor tag all 0 0.3 second linear transition ok perfect then now I am going to add this style for the menu element menu division it will be 0 overflow will be hidden now it will hide the overflow content 
and so we have so many so many of class I'm going to create this class and we will add this class when we click that button using JavaScript right on that time height will be increased into auto then after I have created nav header class for this one I'm going to give style display flex so justify content space between align item center so I'm going to give padding one put in a size between this element okay so now we will add mobile responsive for this one then how do we are going to show this content based on the screen width for that you can use media query media minimum width is equal to 800 px if it is equal to 800 px on that time dot now main max width will be 1100 px okay so I'm gonna give margin top and bottom zero left and right will be auto display will be flex justify content again space between and align item center so padding will be one total element size then now we have nav header plus for this one adding by default will be zero on this screen size then for the bars will hide this bars so display will be none we are, we are, we are going to hide this bars in the maximum size then now we have menu class for this one I'm going to give height is so auto and display will be flex if the screen size is with this above 800 px on that time we'll see this content right and on this time I don't want to add this hover effect for this one that means background color background color will be transparent and padding will be zero but if it is a small screen size there will be a background color and padding and also for the okay let's see this a bit menu anchor deck right for the anchor deck okay perfect so we have this effect now I'm going to decrease size so that then we can see this one to show this content I'm going to add JavaScript so we already connected this file here so now we can add JavaScript I'm going to get the ID of the bars constant bars is equal to let's see our name so we have your bars as a class name right document dot query selector using dot bars class then we have a menu dot query selector dot menu so bar dot add event listener when you click on this bar on that time we need to add the class menu dot class list dot toggle we are going to add class show menu class right so this is the class which we create here show menu class okay so you can see this class we have created here show menu it will be automatically increased now you can't see this button right so we will let transition for this one right you can see this is some lagging for this one I'm going to add transition for 
for the anchor tag dot menu anchor tag transition will be all 0 0.3 second linear and I'm going to set padding into 0 so we'll give some padding right we'll keep default padding Okay, now somewhat okay. So we'll decrease the size. I'm gonna click here. You can see now it will show this content. So you can add transition for this one also. So that means when you click show menu button, then for the menu hover effect. So we can give transition all 0 0.3 second linear transition. So right, so now we have this responsive navigation bar based on the screen size. It will show this content if I maximize the screen and that time it is not going to show that expand button instead of it will show all this content right. And this logo button so you can add your website content here then other photo section and all the items in this section okay so I will share this code you can see we use this CSS code with the media query for the responsiveness and this is small JavaScript code and HTML code so there will be a github file link on the description you can download file project from this link and we will meet with the new Web mini project.